Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some Jigali Lost because a new event has started! Yay! It's a defense game! It's a defense one! <laughs> uh, Alright, enough complaining. Uh, so today's is, I'm just gonna play some of this from the start. I'm not going to be showing a lot, a lot of this event because, one, I think this event sucks. I do not personally enjoy defense battle to the people who do, who enjoy it. I allow you to enjoy your gameplay. And I don't want to ruin your day by potentially seeing a video of mine where I just crap on the thing you like. That's not really the thing I want to do. That's why I never released a Dokkan video where I, just, where I just crapped on GT, so... Yeah, but the one thing I will say that is a positive for this kind of video, uh, for this event, is that it is, one, super easy to do. They've really done a lot to make it as painless as possible. And two, um, there's tomes. So you kind of want both of those. So easy to grind and there's tomes, and I'm like, fine. Perfect. Everything works out in the end, I think. Ooh, then conditions have been unlocked. So, yeah. That's going to be today's video. I'm already, like, what, a minute in here? I forgot to ask. If you end up liking this video, remember to leave a like. Comment how you enjoyed the... Join the event. Are you a fan of Defense Battles? Are you waiting for them to add co-op to Defense Battles? Because I know they said they were going to add it in the, um... In the, uh... This month in Dragalia, but... I, I don't think they were able to get it in time. Are you looking forward to what looks like... Summer Cassandra and Summer uh, Curran? Curran? I kind of am interested. It's a weird pair. Uh, in the story, there's a Summer Lothnia. Um, so I wonder if they're going to sneak her in there as like a four or something. It'd be nice. I kind of don't like it when Dragalia shows me a, a character in a brand new outfit and then does not make them available to me. Uh, oh, oopsie doopsie, that's not good. Oh, this is one of the dragon ones. Oh, wait, if it's one of the dragon ones, I like these better than I like the big-ass defense battles. I'm still not a big fan of this event because, uh, it gives me crap or might. I don't like the fact that it gives you ten at a time. I don't know what year Dragalia is living in that they think giving ten wormite a mission is a good idea, but they should really stop. If you complain about them, complain about it enough in their, uh, in the, uh, you know, complain to us button, the, <laughs> the contact doesn't give us some feedback. I'm sure that it would eventually change, but I should read that interview where he answered some questions people had, because I'm sure there would be something there for me for that specific kind of, like, thought process. Victory! Cool, I can now move on to standard. Yeah, in the previous version of this event, the first time we had it, it took way longer. And of course, it's now light that I need two colors. Perfectly fine. As you can tell, I have not changed my light team since um, the Wukong event. Even though I think I have brand new light units, but I just don't want to spend all my, um, my things on units. Uh, the uh, toilet paper. It just doesn't make any sense to me to be, like, recklessly using your toilet paper when you don't know when the next big unit that's coming is going to be out or the next big mana spiral. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. So, I don't know. I like holding on to stuff. I'm that kind of player in a JRPG, though, that holds on to everything that they have possible. That's just, like, the way I like to, uh... The way I like to do things. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Like, you should be more frugal with yourself. You don't know how much of this that you're gonna get. Well, you know, maybe. You know, actually, if I had one wish, is that, um. For the first year, one of the things they potentially change, not saying that I know that there's gonna be changes being made, but one of the things I'd change, completely removing the need for those stupid things. Just don't need them anymore. Get rid of them. Everyone would be happier if you didn't have to deal with toilet paper. Or at least remove toilet paper from mana spirals. Doesn't make- oh, you know, not mana spirals. Keep them from mana spirals, but then remove them from actually leveling up a unit. I think that would be better in the long run. You'd be able to, like, 
uh, mana spiral way more units and not have to worry about anything. I think it would kind of devalue the new type of unit they do for events where um, you get their entire thing for free. Because the whole reason it's so good that it's free is that they don't cost any, um, they don't cost you any toilet paper. At least that's why I think it's, uh, they're good that's free. I'm gonna keep using this specific dragon because Shinobi with <laughs> Veronica is still a decent enough combo that I don't have to worry about anything. Man. Summer moves on though, so very surprised by the now amount of summer stuff. It is still stupid hot in this godforsaken house. I is not a big fan. Just die. I don't know what the hell this thing thought it was that. Done already? How disappointing. Hmm. Disappointing. It's still stupid hot, man. I don't I hate summer heat. I hate it so much. I hate it even more now that I don't have a place with air conditioning. I mean, to be fair, uh, there was a one year, and it was only one year, where we spent inside our house where there was absolutely no air conditioning, and we had to sleep in on the floor, in the floor. <laughs> we had to sleep out on the floor in the family room as like a family, because that was the coldest place in the um, entire house. And then it sucks because as I was laying there on the cold hardwood floor trying to sleep, uh, ignoring the extreme heat around me, my freaking dumbass cats <laughs> came up to my head and was just like completely like, hey, hey, we know she's trying to sleep. And Normie, the cat that I used, uh, that I was with at the time, who recently passed away, of course, everyone knows who Normie is, um, if they saw my, my videos anyway, it doesn't matter. My cat, recently passed. Um... She used to wait for um, me to go to bed, and when at any time I would leave the room and be with someone else, she would start meowing as if like, hey, what are you doing? Get back to the bed. We need to go to bed. And I'd be like, no, Normie, shh. I'm trying to, I'm sleeping over here. And then like two hours later, she strolled up to me and he was like looking at me in the face. She's like, is this where we're sleeping today? I was like, Normie, go to bed. I don't, I don't need you right now to be awake keeping me up. It's hot. Please, girl, calm yourself. And she's like, hmm. Come on, go back to the bed. She would like meow. She would go meow, meow, meow. And I'd be like, oh, please, Normie, stop. And then at that point, once she started meowing, then my other cat, who also passed away, Mia, would show up, and then they would fight each other over the top of my body, while our kittens also decided to attack my feet. And it was a terrible night. It was. Uh, and then my sister, who was also nearby, uh, who had her dogs with her, because her dogs somehow respect her when she sleeps, was laughing at me the entire time. It was <laughs> it was a real dumb night, and we spent one summer like that. And at the end of it, um, I told my mom, and we eventually all talked to my dad, because my dad's a truck driver, so we don't. It is not usually at the house, but we told him we are not spending another year in this house until we get air conditioning. We need to get, we need to fix the damn air conditioner. So we ended up fixing it before that uh, summer that year. And I think I wanna say two years later, we were kicked out of our house. So that's a good way to end the happy story. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's another story to tell someday when I have a new house and I'm happy again. And then I can finally tell this stupid tale of how I lost my house. And <sighs> it's not really like a thing of like, oh, I need to share. It's more like I just don't want to like talk about it fully. Like I don't want to get into the full story until the full story is actually complete. Like I don't see a point in um, mentioning all the things that are happening if the story is not over by the end of it. So once everything is done and I feel like satisfied with the conclusion of it. I'll tell everyone, like, hey, this is the the, the very dumb two-year scap of us trying to get a house. You know what's the craziest thing, though? Somehow, while we lost the house and we were like... It's actually been amazing, because here's something you don't realize until things start going really bad for you. When you say, like, how could things possibly get worse? You don't know how... <laughs> we never think that, because... Jesus Christ, I thought the house would be the worst thing I lost. Nope. Nowhere near close. So many bad things happen. It's unbelievable the amount of bad things happening. And speaking of bad things happening, I'm done grinding Twilight. 
twinkling twilight for this uh, video. So, thank you everyone who came, who came, who watched the video. If you liked it, please leave a like. I hope you have a good day. Have a good night. Keep the summer nights. Keep the summer nights dreaming in your eyes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And chances are, when by the way, this banner's not up yet. It's because they're saving it for a Jigali remix. That's 100% what they're doing. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. See you later.